See, I'm back on here just to keep it real for all the real men out there. Now, when we talk about going MGTOW, I think it means different things to different men. And it should. That's why when I do my videos, I try to say that a man should come up with his own message for these acronym or letters, if you will. So it have a more personal and deeper meaning. And I look at some of the things that I have learned with dealing with women and the world itself. And sometimes you hear me say within videos, you go on your way, your own way from not only just women, but society as well. And I think, and I, I, it's not really think, I'm pretty sure I know that many men that come across my videos, it's more laundry list of things that's on your mind on an everyday basis. How you taking care of your finance, starting on your career, developing a business, making sure your home is taken care of. If you have kids or a child, making sure they're straight for the future. All right? I, I try to say in many videos, eliminate as, as much as you possibly can the drama with your baby moms or mothers. All right? Because with that, it shows your child or children that even though we know that mothers out here will turn the kids against their fathers, say negative things in the household while the father is not there. We as men have to show our child or children something different. All right? It's us. It's in us to be the leader. We must be that leader. And when we have our kids out here, we must show them that this is what we're doing. This is how you carry yourself as a man or a young woman. And I think many men understand that the MGTOW movement, yes, yeah, sure, on the surface, we say saying going our own way from women. No, no doubt about that. No doubt. Because it's a lose-lose game in this here. And many men have come to realize this and for any man that come across this particular video and you may feel that you're at a, a lowest point, not suicidal level, but just at that lowest point. Trust me, it's been many times that I have personally been there myself. And that's why I can go back and reflect on many things and many scenarios that I have been in and kick a good video. Because drawing on memory of things that you have dealt with and how it makes you change your whole outlook on certain things. You never forget that. There's been many times I end up losing employment, had to kick up some resumes real quick, hunting jobs down, hoping that employers call. It's a stressful time sitting here pacing back and forth, hoping, well, hopefully the day somebody calls. And then when you finally get an employer to call and ask you for an interview, you stress hoping that interview goes well. My point with this here is when we are focused on our goals and trying to make sure we have everything in our control, making sure our finance is great, a roof over our head, there's nothing that can compare to that. Nothing compared to you can take care of your kids. No woman, no girlfriend, no none of that. None of that. A man loses his job, the last thing on his mind is trying to get some sex. Or it should be. It, it wasn't on my mind. I lost a job. I ain't thinking about no damn woman. I'm thinking about how I'm going to make this thing happen here. How I'm going to goddamn come back and turn a new leaf and reinvent myself. Because I don't want to be in this situation again. And, and I think for many men... This MGTOW concept is the same underlying theme. It's like you tried your hand with a marriage for many men that were married. You tried your hand in relationships, in my case, and many other men cases out there. Long-term relationships, girlfriends turning to baby moms or mothers. And you realize, and I realize, and I know you men have your own unique scenarios and situations out there. But I realized within the relationship that caused a lot of drama, I spent time in jail, 
time away from my child. I lost a lot of money in the process of dealing with that. And in that moment, because I was dealing with a woman that had extreme low self-esteem, all right? A lot of things that we don't talk about within these videos. When you're dealing with women, not only are you dealing with the narcissistic part of a woman, her DNA structure, society version influence on her, but then women's insecurities within themselves can bring down a relationship and a man if he stay in there. I had to get out of that situation because there was no win-win there. Now, in my videos, I do a lot of humor, and that's just to really kind of get the message in and, and, and use humor as well. Because most men that may watch the videos are outright just pissed and angry at a woman, all right? And, and I understand that because I, I know that feeling like mother. And so I try to just, you know, make it humorous so, you know, we can... You know, just have a, t a time for people to, you know, break the ice, joke a little bit, you know, have fun, get a laugh in. But the, the message is, is right there, though, because we know it's real. We know how women are. We know the games they play, the lies they tell. And for us men, it's our choice to participate in that shit, to be walked all over by a woman, to really lower our standards for that bullshit. It's us. The moment we walk away and say we're not going to be a part of that, the moment your life instantly changes for the better. And at this moment now, <laughs> I'm in a better place. I got genuine peace, a genuine smile on my face. I'm young, I'm retired now, so I do have a lot of free time to get out here and enjoy my passions. Everything that I'm striving for is coming true, it's coming to fruition. And the all the nonsense that I dealt with in a relationship, I removed it all. I did a video a while back and I was talking about deactivating the buttons that your wife, your ex-wife, your baby mama, like they love to push those buttons to see that they still want to work. And no, I deactivated all that there. Because it's no need to be mad at a woman. Just move on, man. Take that L... Take that L and just move on, all right? And like I say, rebuild your brand as a man. Put your stamp on it. Focus on your goals. Every single day must be about you and what's going on in this world. And if you have kids or a child, making sure they're straight for the future. That's it. Women on this MGTOW banner, shield I like to call with the MGTOW player mindset, they are only for dating and entertaining and getting sex. That's it. That, well, that's it for me. I can't speak for all. But that's it. Because I don't need the extra drama. I don't need the STDs from these hoes that don't know how to clean their coochie, nor go get tested. I don't need the attitude problems and all the other stuff that women bring. I don't have time for a ready-made family. I'm not going to be nobody provider, simp, mangina. I don't want to hear women's stories. So I'm not your emotional tampon either. It's just certain things I'm just not going to do as a man. You feel me? And I think many men, and you really don't have to hit rock bottom, but I think once you get to that lowest point, where everything just feels like it's just bleak as hell. I think this time you can say, you know what? I don't be here many times. This time right here is going to be different. This time we're not coming back to this low low place here again. All right? And I had to learn that. And I learned that. And I realized, no, I'm not doing this one again here. We're going to eliminate the whole clean slate. And after doing that and getting back on track, getting my finance in order, Focusing on my goals, I was happy, at peace, no stress, no going to jail, no anger management, no no staying out, hanging with the homeboys because I didn't want to come to the crib. None of that. All right? And now, 
I wake up to peace and quiet unless I got a female here moaning and groaning. You feel me, right? And I wake up to do what the hell I want to do for that particular day. All right? And I hope with this video right here, because like I said, I just call it Reflections. Because even though I'm telling some about my life, I'm hoping that after this video, you men can just take time to reflect on your life. The past, the immediate present, and how you see your future going. Alright? Hope y'all guys write some of the things that you want to achieve down. And just hold yourself to it. Again, if you entertaining women, you should already know what your role as far as entertaining women. You should know your cutoff point with women. Alright? So with that, I'll catch y'all in the next video, which definitely will be dropping soon. A series of videos for that matter. And I hope y'all have a good one. Peace.